yoga is an outdoor activity, right? September is National Yoga Month, and we invited a yoga expert to be on the show for us this yeah. morning. And Emma, Emma Riley is outside with the lead instructor and general manager of Yoga 6 Sugar House. Good morning, Emma, and I guess you have uh, Micah with you. Yes, good morning. As you said, we're here with Mika Hori. She's with Yoga 6 Sugar House. She's the lead instructor, and she is going to show us some yoga moves. But first, I want to talk about the physical and mental benefits of yoga. Yeah. Um, so yoga is a kind of multi-dimensional practice. Um, it benefits you physically, it helps with mobility, flexibility, um, even strengthening of the muscles and the bones in your body. Uh, and then beyond that, it's really good for your mental health. You learn to breathe. Um, a lot of the time we're holding our breath a lot throughout the day and we don't really realize that that's happening. So learning to take those deep breaths in and out, really good for your mental health, um, helping with sleep, and then all the way into energy levels as well and just kind of keeping you you know, up and moving throughout the day. Who would you say benefits the most from yoga? Ooh, so everybody. <laughs> and I don't mean to give like a broad answer, but truly everyone benefits from yoga. Um, and the beautiful part about yoga is it doesn't have to look one way. It can look very different for, you know, whoever might be practicing. So whether you're even three years old or a hundred years old, um, there's a way that you can do yoga and bring it into your life that's going to benefit you. And of course, I'm sure yoga improves mobility, which is like really helps you age. And yeah, yeah. Um, so being able to sit down, stand up, um, you know, obviously if someone has a fall or something like that, they're able to get back up on their feet. So especially for older folks that are maybe living alone um, or people that are recovering from injuries, the mobility work that you find in yoga is extremely helpful. Um, and it's really simple to add it to your everyday life. Yeah, and it's something you can do from home. I mean, yes. this is the best thing about it. Okay, so yes. you have some moves you're gonna show us. I do. Can you walk us through, give us some instructions, teach us how to do it? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. okay, so yeah, you can do yoga anywhere, um, in your desk chair, at home, just wherever you might be right now. So you'll find a comfortable seat. Now, what we have in front of us here are props that you can use to kind of help, you know, adjust your position and modify as needed. So if you want to sit on a block, you can sit on a block, but I think the grass here is really good. So we'll start with our arms up and we'll just take a big stretch through the hands and then breathe out to bring the hands together down into your chest. Good, now breathe in to re-extend your arms back up and as you exhale, drop your right hand down to the side and take a big stretch over with your left arm. Good, and we'll just stay here for a moment. And what I'm gonna work you through this morning is the six movements of the spine. So let's bring the arms up overhead and exhale, take your side bend over to the opposite side. And at yoga six, um, this is something that we incorporate in every class that we do. So bring the arms back up and we'll just take it breath to movement. So exhale, side bend to the right, breathe in, take the arms up and exhale to the left. Good, inhale and up. And one more time, just both sides. So here we have our first set of movements, arms up, which is our lateral body or our side to side movements. Okay, arms overhead. And now we're gonna take it into a twist. So twisting to the right, just take your hand to your knee. Good, make sure you're sitting up tall. And face forward, arms up. And as you reach, you're resetting the spine, take your twist to the left. And how important is breathing? Oh, it's so Thanks. important. Let's take it side to side. So as you breathe in, you're sending a lot of oxygen into your body as you exhale you're able to again increase mobility, bring the arms up. So we exhale as we twist and that's gonna help us get deeper rotation through the spine. One more time, both sides. And you know, taking things breath to movement, arms up, is a great way to again, work that mobility and also build some warmth in the body. Okay, final movement that we'll take, arms up, is a fold. Now I know this might be challenging for some people, so this is where blocks can come in handy. 
You're just gonna walk your blocks forward and then bow your head down. Good, stay here. And you wanna find a nice round spine and just kind of relax the forehead. And you know, if you don't have blocks, like you're at home, you can literally use glasses, you can use books, you can use a cushion, you know, whatever you might have lying around. Your desk. These nice. are some great moves. I can really feel it in my spine. Yeah. I feel like I, my posture is ready totally. to go for the day, especially if you sit in a desk. And yeah. I tend to do that all the time. Oh, so for sure. Like, I need. I need the help. We get all the so, help we can get, pulling the shoulders back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I'm feeling great. And thank you so much for coming. Of teaching course. us some of these moves. Easy moves you can do at home. Yeah. You can go see her at Yoga 6. Yeah. And yeah, Ron and Mary. It's a good way to wake you guys up. Do yoga? Yeah. It feels get good. The blood stretches. Flowing, yeah. Stretch you. Get, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> I feel relaxed just watching. Yeah. It was awesome. Thanks a lot, Emma. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling ready for the day. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. We enjoyed that.